All right, it's time to get comfortable. I want everyone to move to this side to get into the arc of the speakers. We want you to be hot. This is the big moment. Crowd in. This is the marsh pit. Come on, everyone in. for the Hell Yeah Liturgy. Okay, before it, just a little, little housekeeping. First of all, I'm wearing a nine-year-old Manifest t-shirt designed by a student. I want you to know what the Manifest star sounds, sound, what it stands for. It's not the fakery of a Hollywood star. It's not the magical thinking of wishing on a star. It's not a shop at Macy's star. Okay, our star, designed by a student, speaks to the energy, the solar energy that radiates from our community that inspires and supports our students. So, like the duality that goes into quantum mechanics theory, you're both in the star and outside the star. You receive the energy and you give the energy, okay? Okay, now we have some special student groups here that I wanna recognize. First of all, where are the graduate students? Okay, the graduate students, we have 200 new graduate students. These are seasoned artists, media professionals. They're, they're working in the fields already. They're relatively small compared to all of you, but they're mighty in what they're gonna offer. And graduate students, I wanna make sure that you, we feel the weight of who you are and what you're gonna do at Columbia. Let's give it up for the graduate students. And then this year is a threshold year for Columbia. We move to a global university. Our thinking is now shaped by the global perspective. We have a 120 new international students starting at Columbia. Where are our international students? Listen, we have students from Africa, from Nigeria, South Africa, Tanzania. We have students from Asia, from Japan, China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, India, Iraq, Iran, South Korea, Mongolia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Taiwan, Kyrgyzstan, Vietnam, and Turkey. We have students from North America. We have international students from Canada, Mexico, and Texas. By the way, Texas is a foreign country, isn't it? We have students from the Caribbean, from, or, or from the Bahamas and Cayman Islands. We have us one student from down under from New Zealand. We have students from Belgium, Latvia, Cyprus, Spain, UK, Italy, Macedonia, the Netherlands, Russia, and Sweden. By the way, that's called Europe. And then from South America, we have Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Panama, and Venezuela. It is your responsibility to make sure these international students feel welcome and become integrated into our, our community. And international students, we need what you bring to us in the international perspective that makes us a bigger, better, more comprehensive place. Welcome our international students. And then here's the other threshold we've moved through. We are now a major magnet for young creative students across this country. So 52% of our freshmen are from out of state. So you're from Mississippi, in Maine, in New York, you're from Georgia, you're from Florida. You're from, as the students from New Jersey have informed me, it ain't New Jersey, it's Jersey. And you're from California, and you're from South Dakota, and North Dakota, and from Colorado. You're from Indiana, Minnesota, and Michigan. From Iowa, and Ohio, and Pennsylvania. But by the way, we've got one big problem. We're missing one state. We've got a student from Alaska. Where's Alaska? We've got three students from Hawaii. But there's no one from Delaware. So 
Anyone willing to go out and find someone from Delaware just so we can say we have every state in the union? So now, we are on to the Hell Yeah Liturgy. In just a moment, here's what this is about. The equation is simple. We are a great college. The equation is simple. You have a great new president. The equation is simple. We have a great faculty who will inspire you. And so, here's the other part of the equation. You as new students, the strongest class that's ever entered Columbia, that means we expect greatness from you and the nine principles for student success is your commitment to that expectation. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so everyone knows the gig, but to remind you, after each principle, it's a fist pumping, hell yeah, last principle, live what you love, three fist pumps, three hell yeah, and then pandemonium, okay? So the first principle I want to talk about, you must come and create a body of work. You start and that body of work creation is messy. You're gonna make mistake after mistake after mistake. But over time, that work will become mature and substantive. And when you get to manifest, you're gonna blow us away with the power of your body of work. Students, will you create a body of work? But students, you also must live intellectually. That body of work must be driven by big ideas. So the LAS core, the liberal arts and sciences, is equal in weight to the work in your major. And then they cross each other, and then the body of work driven by ideas, driven by reflection, by critiquing, by thinking, exploring, comparing, becoming a well-educated student who's driven by intellectual thirst. That's who you will be. Students, will you live intellectually? you need to explore and explore more. The campus life is stunning. The richest cultural life maybe of any campus in the city. And then look out to the skyline. This city, this culturally alive city is yours. And so you're always turning your sensory acuity up to 10, all your senses in play, living in the moment, exploring and learning. Students, will you explore? Yeah. And then, there's the diversity of Columbia College. So here's a fact. Chicago, unfortunately, is one of the most segregated cities in this country. Fact. Here's another fact. Columbia College Chicago is one of the wildly diverse, most integrated places you're gonna find on this globe. So we're black, white, we're straight, gay, lesbian, transgender, we're Latino, we're Asian American, we're international, and we mix it up in Columbia. There's no self-segregation going on in Columbia, got it? Students, will you embrace diversity? And then, what do you do with that diversity? You form your creative posse. So at Columbia, we know community is a concept. How do you make the concept come to life? It's by finding other students who are gonna inspire you and you're gonna inspire them. And what do you do if you get a slacker or a loser in your posse? Kick out. You kick them out. And what do you do if you see me running down the street after you to pummel you? What do you do? Oh. Run fast and it won't be fast enough. <laughs> students, will you form your creative posse? Yeah. And then students, you gotta pay attention. You gotta ask questions. No, oh, I didn't know, or I forgot, or I wasn't paying attention. You become an expert. You read the Columbia Chronicle. You read all the wonderful student loop newsletters that are written by your fellow students. You look at Tally Ho. You look at what's going on in the city. You're always on it. Students, will you be informed? Hell yeah! And then, students, we expect you to live healthy lives at Columbia. We want you to eat well. We want you to sleep now and then. We want you to go to the gym. We got a gym this year for you, okay? So you're gonna work out, right? Uh, if, a need, if you need a counselor, we have counselors. There is to be no stupid drug and alcohol abuse. We have too much to do. And by the way, you should also know we're a condom college, okay? Safe sex is what is to be practiced at Columbia College. <laughs> Students, will you support your systems? <laughs> and then, the amazing faculty and staff of Columbia. You just heard our, your president. 
Do you know he's available to you? Do you know Louise Lover Provost is available to you? Do you know the faculty? They're not authority figures. They're the beginning of your professional career. And so none of that authority gig stuff in our classrooms, you're getting to know them, know your faculty. And then the staff of Columbia, they're as equally passionate about you. Step forward. When I'm walking down the street, you say hello to me, you tell me how you're doing, but you do that with everyone. Students, will you do that? Hell yeah! And then I should, I should let you know the principles are not fixed. They morph. You should have your own principles. Faculty will offer you principles for student success. I'm gonna add another principle here now. It's called share. So I've talked to a couple of new students in the last week. One student said, he's really homesick. I get it. I talked to another student who grew up in a house surrounded by a forest, couldn't even see a neighbor. And he's a little freaked out by Chicago. I talked to another student who's really never been in a big city, and now this glorious city is, is, is part of his life, but he's a little intimidated. Your job, fellow students, is to make them at home. And then your job is to get out into the Chicago community. You're to infect Chicago with your passion for arts and media. Students, will you share? Hell yeah! And then, it's the last of the principles, but I digress for one quick commercial. Buttons. I'm wearing my staff button. Faculty have their blue button. Continuing students have their multicolored button. All new students through the fourth week of the semester, you wear that new button proudly, and it allows us to know who you are and to make sure you're doing okay. Will you wear your buttons? Yeah, yeah. And then with that, this is the moment. I want everyone, every student to look me in the eye. I want perfect silence. Fans stop, sweat. This is your pledge, your individual and collective pledge that you're gonna go so hard, so deep. And if you do, I guarantee you, this becomes a magical experience, a tough one, one with all kinds of challenges, but it'll be magical and you will become a transformed individual and that's why you're here. So every student, everyone looking at me, you're gonna feel this in your belly, right? This is not just having fun. This is, this is the liturgy where you're committing to your Columbia education. New students of Columbia. Will you live what you love? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Go do it! Thank you.